What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Sword and Shield video. I'm not sure how many of these we're going to do on the channel. However, we did hit a pretty momentous event, so I figured I'd record it. And now that it's possible what comes up next could be considered as some spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, maybe don't watch the rest of this video. And that's your spoiler warning. Here we go. What we're going to be doing today is fighting and I presume catching the shield face Pokemon that is Zamacenta. Um, kind of a weird name. I think Zacian is actually a pretty cool name. Uh, I'm presuming we catch this because we are playing shield. So I bet you get the shield Pokemon. As far as story goes, we've been chasing around these two buffoons all over the Galar region and they've been gigamaxing a bunch of stuff. Um, it's totally ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Their hair is triple ridiculous. And to be honest, it's a little. It's been a little tough uh, going through the rest of this story just because of how silly it is. Um, but uh, yeah, we have Piers with us, and actually Sonya's with us still. Shout out to Komote and Aiden. Um, yeah, Sonya's still, you know, just tagging along everything, always asking us, always wanting our attention. So you know what's up there. <laughs> That's your waifu. And uh, all right, let's let's do this. Let's face face this uh, shield face Pokemon, and uh, presumably we can catch it. Oh, and to catch, actually, I wonder if this is a kind of like a guaranteed thing, like uh, the Eternius was. And given like how easy this game is up to but now, it wouldn't be shocking if this is like a guaranteed catch or anything. Although Sonya's grandmother, um, Magnolia, recently gave us a Master Ball. Uh, so I wonder if you're supposed to use it here. Um, I remember like, uh, so I do like the idea of keeping the Master Ball after you complete all the content. So the basic thing, oh, we didn't really need it. Uh, but I remember like back a long time ago when I played like red and blue. The Mewtwo is so hard to catch. You can bring him down to a pixel using like super weak attacks and then put it to sleep and it still wasn't a guaranteed catch. So, and we actually one-shotted the Zacian with Harambe at level 97. I'm not even sure what type Zamacenta is. Oh, actually, okay. So none of our attacks are very effective, and I think Knockoff is actually pretty weak, coming in at only 65 power. So we could use those to bring it down. Um, again, we could just use his Master Ball, probably guaranteed. But, uh, actually, you know what? I, we do have these Quick Balls. Um... In case you didn't know, these quick balls are totally OP. I did, I tried to make a tips and tricks video for this for this game. Uh, however, there was some problems with the video rendering, uh, so I ended up not posting it. But if you're not too far along this game and you do find the Watt vendor in the wild area that sells these, buy as many as you can. Go all around and farm the Watt points and just dump them all into quick balls. It's worth it. This thing is so OP. It basically takes everything out of battling. And you reap all the benefits. Obviously you catch the Pokemon. You don't even need to fight it. It has a shockingly high catch rate. Not only that, but you also gain experience in this game when you catch Pokemon. So basically what I was doing for a little bit of period of time is running into the strongest Pokemon I could find in the wild area and just throwing a quick ball as a way to farm experience. It's totally insane. I actually think this game would be a little bit better if this thing didn't exist, but it does. And uh, I'm not even sure if this is possible for this to work, but we're gonna try this just for the for the heck of it. We'll try this for the memes. Here we go, trying to catch a legendary Pokemon using a Quick Ball. And uh, oh my God, is this going to work? <laughs> I can't believe that. Again, maybe this is a guaranteed catch, but the fact that that is even a thing is totally ridiculous. And you still get experience. How much experience does this guy give? Oh my gosh. Three, like, what, what is that? Tens of thousands of experience for not even fighting it, and we caught it. Like, these quick balls are totally broken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Add it to your Pokédex. Oh, it's a fighting Pokémon. It's a warrior Pokémon. I guess that makes sense. Hero of many battles. This Pokémon has slept for aeons while in the form of a statue. Oh, I didn't know it was a statue. It was asleep for so long, people forgot that it ever existed. Okay, I guess that makes sense and kind of lines with the story. Number 399. I wonder, is Zacian or Eternus number 400? Would you like to give a nickname? No. Actually, maybe I should call it Shield Face. Eh, we'll, we'll do that later. 
All right, let's see. We need to replace something in our party. We definitely want to run this guy for a little bit. You know, we don't use Gardevoir very much, but it is our only Pokemon with any kind of Psychic attack. Uh, Tyranitar, we, Harambe has a Dark attack, and as far as Rock attacks, Cor Cor Colossal has some uh, dark at or Ground attacks, or Rock attacks as well. I think we'll replace the Tyranitar, even though I really like Tyranitar. Alright, Zamacenta has been added to our party! Easiest legendary Pokemon I've ever had to catch. And, uh, yeah, so I think we'll cut it there for this video. Um, pretty shocking that, hey, Sonya's back again. And, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, if there's any Sword and Shield content that you feel like you would like to see on this channel, let me know in a comment down below. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Can't believe that worked. <laughs> so silly. In case you forgot, we are Team Marnie all the way.